Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here with part two of our pinging system tutorial. And here, what we want to do is get it so our text rotates to face our character. So that way we don't have any of this ugliness and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to, you know, basically follow around with our camera. So what we have, well, what we're going to do is when these are spawned, we want to get the initial player controller or player character that is for the local client. So that's always going to be index zero for themselves. And that's what we're going to basically use to kind of get the look at rotation on tick as every time we want to update to get it to face us. So to begin, all we need to do is in begin play, we can go ahead and get the first player controller and use that kind of to cache everything or player character. So to begin, what we're going to do is you gameplay statics, which as you can see includes gizmet gameplay statics.h, get player character, and we're going to do get world and index zero. So this will be our character. So we can just set this so a player, or sorry, a character. Let's do local character and assign it. So that'll allow us to basically have access to whatever else is inside of here. So unfortunately, there's no camera component by default. So what we could do is cache or cast it to our own type to get our camera. But we'll deal with that in, well, shortly. So let's go ahead and store this in our header. So that way we have access to it and we're not repeatedly having to get it. So I do want to cast this. So we have our default character here. So pinging tutorial character, which as you can see has the follow camera and all that. So we want to store the type of a pinging tutorial character, which I went ahead and included for me. I'm going to go ahead and for declare it any instead. And this one's just going to be cached character. Simple enough. So we're going to take cached character. And that is going to be what we store. Now this is going to return the type of a character. So we have to cast this already. So let's go ahead and cast to the type of a pinging tutorial character from the character that we received from this function call. So I went ahead and included the character for me. Go ahead and move that up there. So we're basically on begin play. We're going to go ahead and get our local character. So in that case, that would be yourself. We don't want the owner of this ping or anything like that. We just want whoever is going to be basically, you know, making use of it. So what we're going to do now is in tick, we're going to simply rotate our ping text component. So first off, do a check. So if we'll do is valid cached character. And here we want to handle basically everything that we need. So if this is not valid, I do want to eventually have a check or basically have a function that would go ahead and attempt to retrieve the character again for us until it is valid. But for the time being, we want to just simply check if our cached character is valid. We want to get the location of this character, the actual, specifically the camera component, as well as the ping text location. Well, in that case, that would be the actor, basically. It's close enough. And finally, look at rotation between the two and apply that rotation to the ping text. So we want the ping text to be looking at the character's character or character's camera. So let's get that. So f vector camera location equals cached character. Let's search for camera, get follow camera, get component location. So I went ahead and included the camera camera component. So we have our camera location. Uh, we can just get the component location of ping text. That'll probably be a little bit more accurate, so to speak. So that factor, let's just do ping location equals ping text get component location. Okay, so now we have the U Kismet math library. We can search for find look at rotation. And this is what we're going to use to have the rotation for the ping text. So make sure you include Kismet, Kismet Math Library. And as you can see, the first parameter is the start. So find the rotation for an object at the start location to point at the target location. So start would be our text, which would be our ping text, and the end would be our target, which would be our camera. 
So we want our ping location and then our camera location. And we can move these to constants because we're not going to be changing them. Okay. So this returns a rotator. So let's go ahead and store that. So F rotator. Let's do look at rotation. And this is going to be the rotation we set our ping text. So ping text set component. Let's see. Something rotation. Search for rotation. Set world rotation. It's going to be look at rotation, like so. And that can be a constant as well because we're not changing it. All right, so that's pretty much everything we need. I want to go ahead and run a log, make sure everything's running. And altering rotation. OK, let's run live coding, make sure everything compiles. All right, looks like it has, so let's give it a try. Hit play. As you can see, the text is rotating with our character as well. So even if I come and look up, you can see the text follows it, just like with the billboard. It does have a little bit of wonkiness when we hit our upper limits like that, but that I'm really not too concerned about. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and adjust the text position. So I want this to be at the bottom of the ping. And ultimately, I really think that whole thing could be smaller. So let's adjust the sprite size. We'll have it to 16 by 16. And our text size, let's see, how far back are we? And I could say that that's, go just maybe a hair smaller. So let's see, where's the size? Word size, 26, let's go to 20. And then we want to justify it to the center. And we're going to go down a little bit. I want to actually get the... Okay, so that's pretty good left to right, or height-wise. That's right at the top of the T. And I'd say that's pretty good. So here's our ping. And it's going to have basically... Yeah, that's pretty decent. All right. So as well, now that we have the location between the camera and the ping location, we can actually very easily get the, the distance between them and apply that as the text for the ping text. But that's what we're going to do in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the log. And that's going to be all. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Where I have a Team Deathmatch series as well as a Conquest tutorial game mode series available. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hop in my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.